welcome to OESC London. My name is Valentina Kutifa from the University of Rochester Medical Center, Rochester, the United States. And today I have Deva Zahir with me from Copenhagen, Denmark, and she won a Best Poster Award today. And the poster is entitled Family History of Syncope is Associated with Cardiovascular Risk and Mortality, a Danish nationwide study. So Deva, can you please summarize the major findings of your study? Yes, sure. First of all, thank you for the introduction. Um, our study that I've made in collaboration with Gentofte Hospital in, in Denmark is about uh, uh, investigating uh, how the family history of syncope affects uh, first degree relatives' risk of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. It's a nationwide Danish uh, cohort study uh, where we use the Danish uh, registries uh, um, that holds information on uh, comorbidities and uh, hospital admissions. Um, to investigate what it means to have uh, a father, mother or sibling with syncope on your own risk of uh, having either um, um, dying or having a maze that is a composite endpoint of um, stroke, um, uh, myocardial infarction or cardiovascular death or uh, the secondary outcome is early onset cardiovascular disease that is defined as uh, cardiovascular admissions under the age of 50. Um, so the major findings of our study is that having, um, having a first degree relative with syncope uh, increases the risk of first degree relatives uh, with um, around 30 to 40 percent for all our outcomes. Um, so that means that if you have, uh, for example, uh, parents that faint under the age of 60 years old, your own risk is about uh, uh, 40 percent and that's uh, after we take into account traditional risk factors. This is a really interesting mm -hmm. finding. So mm -hmm. what is the potential explanation of your mm -hmm. observations? How would you explain these yeah. findings? Um, previous studies have shown that uh, cardiovascular uh, or the syncope in itself is a risk factor for cardiovascular morbidity and mortality in otherwise healthy uh, individuals. But we've also shown that family uh, that syncope is clustered in families. So one of the relevant questions was whether. Um, Syncope has a genetic, a common genetic susceptibility uh, that is common to that of cardiovascular um, diseases, and that's I think that's some of the uh, one of the mechanisms behind these findings that syncope and uh, syncope in first degree relatives can actually be the first sign of uh, an underlying uh, cardiovascular uh, disease in the, uh, in the relatives. So I find this quite interesting and I was really wondering uh, what is the take home message for the physicians? Mm. How could they imply your findings in their clinical practice mm. to early identify these patients mm. and, and better treat them? Yes, that's a very interesting question because I think that uh, it's very important to acknowledge that family history of syncope actually means something. Of course, we know that syncope is uh, it's a very common condition, but that it, that it means uh, syncope for family history of syncope for very young patients. Our patients uh, at baseline have a median age of about 15 to 25 years old. So it's a very young group of uh, people that we are studying. That, um, so the, when family history of syncope means something for their m risk of mortality and morbidity, I think that's a very important uh, thing that uh, you have to acknowledge as a clinician as well. Thank you, Deva, and uh, this was Valentina Kutjefa and Deva Zahir from ESC TV, from ESC London.